So today is July 9th and this is my daily rant for the day. And sidebar, my birthday is in 10 days, boo. But anyway, let's get into this daily rant, okay? So I've literally been on this earth for four and a half decades, right? And I want to up a bit of knowledge, experience, and all that, right? So, with that being said, like, when I speak about certain experience, I'm speaking to know-how. I'm not speaking from just speculation, from what I heard. I'm always speaking about from what I've seen, right? So, with that being said, let's get into it. So, seeing that, you know, I expect to live to like 100 or something like that. Um, a little bit over a hundred, and so I'm like in the middle of life. This I'm officially a middle aged woman, right? So I feel like being that now I am officially like in the middle. I'm on the second half of life. There is a few things that I've noticed. Um, and you know, I'm like one of those type of people. Like if I knew. What I know now, back in my 20s, I would have been savage. But then I think to myself, now that I know these things, they came when they were supposed to come. So, what's the point of me saying I would have been savage and not actually being savage? Now, when I say savage, I don't mean like promiscuous, disrespectful, rude, you know, a narcissist. Um, ready to just like, you know, go go over anybody's head, be selfish. That's not what I mean when I be when I say be savage now. I've learned so much over these four decades, and the one thing that really stuck with me is to not give a fuck. Right. So I'm trying to do this video with nails and I'm having issues. But anyway, um I don't know what part I left off on, but I know what I was about to say. Okay, so one thing that I've learned over these years is to really not give a fuck, right? And so I read this book a year, some years back called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. And it really changed my life. So let me tell you how it's changed my life in so many ways that have been so productive. So The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck is not about, you know, not giving a fuck about anything. But it's choosing what you give a fuck about, choosing what you give your attention to, choosing what thing do you really focus on, right? Now, a lot of people focus on things that lowers their frequency, right? They focus on things that keeps them in trauma, keeps them a victim, keeps them feeling like everybody's against them, which is really like crazy because with all these people in the world, you think you're the only person in the world, the whole world is having issues, or you're the only person in the world, or you're in the only group of people that's having issues, and you just going to be a victim all your life? Like, is that really what you want to give a fuck about? And then you got those who give a fuck about other people's business. What they doing, what they said, what who who said, what such and such doing, what this, what that. Is that really what you want to give a fuck about? See, me, I give a fuck about my happiness. I give a fuck about my well-being. And I give a fuck about the things that's going to bring me joy. If somebody is in my life and they trying to make me give a fuck about something that's going to make me feel any type of uh, low vibrational negative energy... I'm not giving a fuck, and I'm not giving a fuck that I don't give a fuck. Like, I've had some people try to make me feel bad and make me feel some type of way because I wasn't giving a fuck or I wasn't stressing out. No, I'm not about to stress my life. Like, why would I stress my life out for something that you give a fuck about? Another thing is, I feel like people spend their lives trying to live the lives of other people. In this life... Let me tell y'all something. The worst thing you could do is try to live your life based on what somebody else got going on. The shit is whack. That shit is draining. And you're never going to be able to accomplish it. So why spend your life actually giving a fuck about what somebody else doing and trying to live your life based on their life? 
I see people living their lives and I don't feel like, oh, I need to go live my life on living my life on top of their life. No, I'm living my life. I don't give a fuck. And I'm not about to stress myself. I'm not about to be out here worried. No, that's not what I want. I don't want to be worried. I don't want to be stressed. I don't want to be unhappy. And I'm not about to play the victim. I'm not about to go around here and look for people to be unjust to me. Look for people to wrong me. I'm not about to be on here making a million videos of how men ain't this and men ain't that. I'm not even about to make a million and one videos about what the food industry doing. I know what it is, so... I'm not going to sit up here and stress myself. I'm going to go the other way. Like, if everybody going right, if everybody going left, I'm going to sit in the middle and watch what everybody doing and then make my decision based on what I got going on. And I'm not about to sit up here and be... I'm not about to sit up here and be stressed out. I'm not about to sit up here and try to live a status quo based on what everybody else is doing. I don't care. I really don't care. The only thing I'm going to do is get on this app, talk my mess... We have to start living our life, like, not stressing about what everybody else got going on, not giving a fuck about all this stuff that they want us to stress about. Do you realize that that stressing ages you? It causes sickness. It causes disease. It and trust me, there's several people on this earth that would not have a problem that you live your life depressed. They would not have a problem that you was unhappy in this life. They actually be like, okay, well, that's your fault. It's really your fault. If you live in a life and you are happy and you depressed and you feeling like life is, is just, just this big, this bubble of unhappiness, that's your fault. Because we have the possibility and the choices to change our life. Y'all do know this, right? I decided long ago, I'm not about to be living no life of regret, unhappiness, and mediocrity and doing what everybody else doing and caring about what everybody else caring about and dealing with a man that's not making me feel like the best version of myself and having friends that's just toxic and we just doing mediocre stuff and eating unhealthy foods and sitting up drinking unhealthy drinks and talking about men all day. That's not the life that I wanted. The life that I want, I'm living it. And I might have a bump in the road. I might have a situation that's not the best. But I'm still not about to sit up here and be in regret and look for victimhood. I'm going to figure this shit out. I'm not going to give a fuck about what nobody else doing. And I'm going to live my life the way that I want to on the terms that I want to. Because when I die, that's it. Curtain closed. So you think I'm about to sit up here and live my life based on what other people got going on? Be giving a fuck about what other people got going on? Be so stressed out that I'm sitting up here... Not being the healthiest version of myself right now in the second half of my life, I'm focused on being the best, healthiest version of myself. And with that being said, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally is one thing that I'm really focused on being the healthiest. Okay, of course, physical, you know what I'm saying? I need to eat healthy, I need to work out, but that mental, that mental got to be right, baby. That's what's the most important. So, I don't know how choppy this live going to, I mean, this, this rant going to be, because my nails had it all over the place. But I just had to come in here and just, you know what I'm saying, give a little sprinkle, sprinkle, give a little, a little talk real quick. You know what I'm saying? As I go into my 45th year, oh, I'm about to be spitting game. And uh, make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel, because we outside, baby. Okay? Peace.